We got a water pump. We got a couple gaskets. We got some freaking doodad goop and some pressed stone. So guess what I'm doing today? How you doing? Welcome to Life with Bill Smith. Open up some fan mail I got from somebody and uh, see what's what. So we got ourselves a t-shirt. Right on, dude. Freaking right. She's a poor boy's RCs. Check them out on YouTube. Why wouldn't you? What size is seven, bud? 2XL. Oh, camera definitely makes me not look as fat as you thought. Hey, I'm a 3XL, but I'll put that on like a tidy in the summertime and I'll, I'll, I'll bring all the women in. So thanks for that. We also get ourselves a card. You rock. Friggin' right, you rock. Holy, look at all the stickers, boys. Cards from them. We got ourselves some RC stickers, which we'll put across the bench here somewhere. And we got ourselves one hell of a long little note, boys. Hey, okay. says, hey buddy, huge fan of your channel. The wife and I watch you all the time and always looks forward to the new episodes. I see you've been getting some hate lately and you're and you're slowed down on the vids as a fellow youtuber content creators we say f the haters let those miserable bastards drown in their own shit captain don't stop creating i'm not gonna stop creating dude but i'm just taking her as she goes that way we don't have shitty content right i can't read today captain hope it pumps you up a bit and gets the dirty old bilsa back to creating Again, or whatever the hell it says. Cheers, poor boy RCs. Thanks a lot, bud. That really means a lot to me. Thank you for sending me that t-shirt and some stickers. I appreciate it. Just so you know, the haters don't get to me. I get to me, hey? That's, gotta remember, the haters don't get to me, I get to me. It's hard, as you know, to create content all the time. So I just step back, so I'm not trying to seem like I'm drowning for, for content. Right? Sometimes you can drown for content and then it's really shitty. So that's all I'm doing, but thank you. Appreciate it. Don't forget everybody, if you like RCs, go over there and subscribe to them. But anyways, back to the old video here. So how you doing? As you seen there in the uh, beginning of the video, I got myself a leaking water pump, which is, you know, I figured it's gonna happen because the truck was sitting for seven years without being ran. So shit dries out. So she blew a gasket and she's leaking all over the place. We're gonna change this together, we are. First thing you want to do when you're doing a job like this, you want to pull the shroud off, get the shroud out of your way. Some people say, ah, you don't need to pull the shroud off, but I am pulling the shroud off, because why like, wouldn't I? So we're looking at about a, powerful. we're looking at about 10 mil here. But as you see, I never seized that, so she'll never seize come off again. She came right off there, because it was never seized. Look at her, oh yeah. How you doing, never seizy? Now we gotta get these ones down here. Hopefully they'll come out, which I doubt. Oh shit, they're coming out, boys. They're coming out, Jim. Yeah, for you don't know, they're down there, right? These two right here, eh? Don't forget, never see them when we put them back in, boys. Remind me, why wouldn't you? Perfect. Perfect. So they all come out, that's a good sign to remove the top half. So we'll get that out of the way. There we go. I actually might give that a little scrub a root. Before we put her in, look at the friggin' look at look at just look at it. Look at the room I got when that's out of there, eh? Frig, yeah. Frig, I almost want to take the bottom one off now. Let's do that so we can clean it too. How do you get to that one? It's been a long time since I did this. Where's my other light? This is a little ding dong here. So it's not there. Oh, she's right down there. Let me see if I can get to her. If I can't get to her, she's staying on. If I can get to her, she's coming off. How do you like them apples? Oh, right there. Oh yeah, so we got metal in the way. We've got two, two of them down there by the fields are, which I should be able to get off. Let's see if we can't get to this, boys. We're gonna need an open end wrench to get them. In case you're wondering, I'm down here. I'm down up here somewhere. And I tell you right now, you can see more than I can see. Cause somebody lowered this truck for some reason. Just cock things right over. I can smell cat piss down here too. What's really going on? 
frig. Well, these are coming off actually quite easily too, as you can see. Oh, almost hand turnable. Well, to take the extra time and just do her. That's what I say. That way you can clean her all off with a wire brush, make her look pretty. No sense in half ass in this job. Give me a long night, Jim. And there's another one down over here somewhere. Ah, <sighs> right there. Is that it? Maybe. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Count them. Look at that one come out. Holy, that one's a ham bomb at all the wage. That's it. There you go. That was worth the five freaking minutes, wasn't it? I think so. Okay. Oh. So now we should be able to just turn this and it should walk right out of there. Hold on, maybe you have to go this way. Turn this. Oh, check that out. There's a beehive on here. Jesus. Turn this, lift it, turn this. Okay, we gotta get the fan off first. What size are we running here, boys? Can anybody guess? That size, right there. There it is. She's not metric, she's standard. This is a year, 87 is a year they went to standard metric. If you've worked on a car before, you know what I'm saying. There's four bolts on the old fan of Ruski. You probably can't see, cause this hose is probably right in your cock sucker. That's all right, boys. You get the idea, you get the drift. There's four of them. One more, Jim. Oh, we should be able to knock the fan off. Oh, he's been on there a while. We need some dead blowage. Now when you're dead blowing your fan, just don't dead blow the hell out of it because you don't want to bend it. There she comes. See? There we go. That's off. Now that that's off, we can remove this piece, which will give us all sorts of room to look at it. Just look at it. Get rid of some leaves over down here. This is that, the other friggin' thing. Yeah. So now what we need to do is we need to loosen this area, this area, and kind of get this out of the way. So we just gotta undo this bracket, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt. So one, two, three, four, five, that, that, well, that many. So we'll get the trusty old, how you doing back out. Oh, we're in the metric, or we're in the standard now. Hold on a second, Jesus Christ. Now we got metric on one side and standard on the other side. We're doing good. Sing this one off. Oh. Need a little help with that one. Oh yeah, that's been on there for a couple days. Just a couple. One, two. You know what, I'm gonna sing them all out and we'll paint that bracket while it's off. Because that's what we do at Dirty Old Villages. Clean up grounds, this, that, and the other friggin' thing. Right on, Captain. Well, yeah, that ground needs cleaning something awful. Don't forget to clean your grounds, boys. Oh, that was a separate ground. We need to take off another one. Holy, is this the right size? Probably not. Of course it ain't. Is this the right size? Of course it's not. Is this it? No. Is that it? Yep. Maybe. Probably not. Nope. Break. Yep. Sort of. Zing. There we go. Off a ruski. Now we need another opening to get that off. Holy. What's really going on? You guys have the wrong fucking angle. I can tell. I've been watching this for 20 minutes now and can't see fuck all. Sorry about that, boys. Girls, peoples. We're right there, right here. Right here, he said, look at right here. Get that off, then we can get this bracket out of the way. Now, as you all can see, this engine has a couple little leaks around the oil department, but that's okay because it's okay. That's why. That's all you need to know. Oil leaks keep everything lubricated. That's my theory, and I'm gonna go with it. <sighs> Holy fuck, is that tight? Careful, easy. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. What's going on here? We got, we got leakage. We got some leak in here, boys. Girls, peoples, we should probably end up the power heating. Where does this go? Oh, fuck. Oh, where's this going? Oh, dick. <gasps> Careful. Frig. Digs. You know what? I think I might just take that belt off. Belt is stiffer than a cock. Let's just fucking give her the tilt master. There we go. Good enough. It's out of the way. Hey, what do you think? I'd have to agree with that one. Look at her leak, Jim. Where's that coming from? Is my holy dick? Oh, listen. Ah, oh, I. Something's telling me here my hose might be cocked over. Oh no, it's, it's coming out of there. Coming out of the hole, ski. So now that that's done, it took me 20 minutes to figure out what was going on there for a second or two. We gotta get this hose off and we gotta drain some fluids. So I'm gonna slide this little bucket under my lowered truck here that it won't even go into the cross member because it's lowered. We'll grab a screwdriver and we'll just hammer this fucking clamp just right off. Oh yeah, we will. Hey, look at that. It's coming off, boys. Girls, peoples. 
And you want to make sure you extra loosen the clamp because the hose has a little lip ski over the water pump and it will it will be a dick. It won't come off as easy as you think. Oh, here it goes. Mount Rushmore here, boys. Have an eye. We're going to lose half a rad saddle. Just got to get the rest of this hose loosened off because it's been on there for a couple days. Not many, just a couple. Looks like she got some pressure to her. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I think we missed. Oh, frig. Get in the bucket. What happened? What have I done? Use your hand to deflect the fluids if you have to because it does help with the mess, as you see. Thank God I got cardboard down there. Look at that, it deflected her right into there. You wouldn't do that twice. Okay, so now that we got 3% of the liquid caught, and that's stretching 3%, we can start by loosening off the old power steering pump as that thing continues to leak for a fucking week and a half, because that's what it does. Let's see if this weeble wobble thing I told you not to buy is even gonna work at all. Probably not. Oh, look at that tight, Jim. Did you hear that? That was crazy. We're looking at a 16 mil there, just hammering it. Let's try this 16 mil open. What happened? That doesn't fit. How does one 16 mil fit, not the other? How is that even possible? Well, that's not it. What's going on here? How am I down a wrench here? Oh, goodness. Oh, it did break loose. That's what that sound was. That was it breaking, saying, careful. Is it your first day or what? You know what? I don't even have to remove that bracket. We are good. We don't even have to touch that. I knew they didn't have to take this thing off, Steve. To loosen it, just get the belt off. That's right, that's what I thought. That's where I'm getting mixed up here. Right down in here somewhere. There we go. Now it should move. Yep. All right, so now that's off. We got the belt off. Now we can bring this thing back up, out of the way, and we can uh, take this clamp off, right here. So we don't even have to move the top rat hose. Let's remove this clamp. Ooh, she's been on there a while too. Ooh, that hose don't look good. Don't look good here, Jim. She looks a little on the, I'm not coming off side. But we have lots here so we can cut it off and start over again. We'll probably get a little bit more drainage here when we do this. Oh, no, we're not gonna. There we go. So now we're done that, we can remove this. And there's a leak right out the vent tube. If anybody's wondering, it's just puking out. So now we can loosen these off. Good, good. Good. This is what I like about these old cars, people. You can actually work on them, eh? It's not like the new stuff. There we go. Lose some more fluids. That's all there is to taking that off. And you know what? Even looks like the game is the right pump, too. That's pretty surprising. And there's no core on it. So you know what that means? More shit from my junk collection. So once all the surfaces are cleaned up, and you got your cog back in, put a little goop around that and give a little ding dong and whatnot and think of a bobber. And we can uh, put a little bit of gas goop around these, slap the gaskets on and maybe slide her back into the hole. I got the block cleaned off, so it's good to go. So we'll take our doodad, our goop goat, and I'm using the black magic stuff, ultra black. Hey, right? by the same company that made that other shit we were using there, plastic stuff. So we'll squeeze some on here some loop-de-loops there we go next squeeze all the way around do some loop-de-loops there we go take your finger just kind of smear it around make sure it's almost like you know dreaming of beautiful things there we go same on this side give her a little how you do a rub around her like that there you go so once you're done that I don't know if you can see or not. Once we're done that, then you can put like the gaskets kind of on here. Just kind of give them a little line up. There we go. Same on this side. Now, I don't know what I'm doing, so don't do everything I'm doing, but in case you want to know, that's how I do it. So now that we're done that, we can put this on this side. Now, before you do this, make sure that you dry it off. Just shake the engine back and forward. It'll actually drain off most of it for you. And if you still got some and it's not making the gasket goop stick, start over again like I am, see? So it's still wet. Damn it. Why wouldn't it be still wet? So if it's still wet, we're no good. We gotta make sure we're dry or it won't seal up very well. Let's get the air compressor and maybe push some out. See if we can't do that. Sometimes this works, sometimes it don't. But we'll have to find out right now. Are you ready? Because I'm not. I'm not working. 
Oh, yeah. There you go. That kind of worked. Kind of made a mess, too. But that should be enough out of there now that we can actually dry it off this time. Give her a little squirt, squirt again. A little bit of how you doing on there. There you go. Decent. Okay. Make sure she's all dry. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, you say. All right, let's try that. See if we got her dry this time. We might have got her, boys. I'll just give it a little wipe with your fingers again. Beauty. Okay, so now that that's done, make sure you take some of that lube and put it on your bolts because the bolts do seal to the water jacket. So if you don't seal it in your bolts, she'll leak like a sieve. So I normally get these prepped up pretty good before we start. You know, and just give the bolts a nice little treatment there. Don't need much, just, you know, a lot. Just like that, there you go. Then what we want to do is we want to put it in the truck. So to do that, I normally get a bolt started in the top part on both sides. And then we lower on in. So we'll bring her in like this. I'll put that one, get that one started. There we go. Oh, it didn't start, hold on. We'll get this one started like so. Let me try that again. There we go. We'll get this one started like so. There we go. We'll bring them in a little bit. Not all the way. Then we'll get the other bolts. And we'll get them started. Like so. Now just be careful when you're pushing these in. Make sure your gaskets haven't moved. I've got real lucky and they're still in the same spot. There we go. There we go. Careful. Okay. Okay. Now that's in like that. You want to give it about three foot pounds. Right about like there. Maybe, maybe 10. That feels pretty good right there. Yep, 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 and yep. There you go. So that's that's all there is to installing the water pump. Now I'm going to take my paint and I'm just going to give that the the shine. See, we're going to give it one of these. Touch up. This is how you make them look new again. Look at that. Perfect. Well, there you go, boys. That's all you have to do to put a water pump in an old generation V8. So we're gonna let that paint dry up. We're gonna clean up these other parts, maybe a couple brackets, clean up a few pulleys, power wash off this. Look at the shit in there, Jim. Yeah, we're gonna have to power wash that off. The old clutch fan of Ruski. Get it all cleaned up, maybe paint job it. Slap all this together, and Bob's drunk, we, shouldn't, we should have a, a non-leaking water pump should have but i'm glad you're all here don't forget to subscribe and like i appreciate that don't forget to keep on checking back for new videos to come out and we'll see you on the next one